It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. On TikTok, I found an account that is called Queer Kiss Stuff that has over 40,000 subscribers as I record this video right now. Before I make a response to this account, I first want to state that I'm not necessarily against the idea of gay characters in TV shows, programs, or movies, or animated shows, largely because basically on a day-to-day -day basis, kids need to be exposed to different, I guess, people from different backgrounds, no matter their race and orientation, and so I don't see a big deal on why people are concerned about gay characters in TV shows. And matter of fact, I can still remember that for the case of author, that many conservatives were actually concerned about the particular issue of gay marriage in Mr. Ratburn. And so I don't understand why people have a problem with gay characters and kids media. But the main video I want to respond to is about abortion because apparently kids need to know about abortion at such a young age. Hi friends, welcome to Queer Kid Stuff. I'm Linz and I'm Teddy. <laughs> and this is my best stuff friend Teddy. And this is Teddy's Book Club, where we're reading LGBTQ plus picture books with you all every Saturday morning. This week, we are reading a book called What's an Abortion Anyway? Linz, what is an abortion anyway? Well, we're just gonna have to find out in the book, Teddy. This is What's an Abortion Anyway by Carly Maines and Emulsify. And I'm really excited to read this book because I don't think there are any other picture books that talk about what an abortion is. And it's really important idea to understand right now. Isn't it, Teddy? Yeah, that's right. All right, well, let's learn what an abortion is anyway. <laughs> you ready, Teddy? Ready. All right. Let's dive in. All right, my friends, this is What's an Abortion Anyway by Carly Maines and Emulsify. What's an abortion anyway? Let's find out, my friends. Oh, I love reading the dedication. This book is dedicated to anyone who has ever had or ever will have an abortion. How wonderful. All right, let's get into it. When a person gets pregnant, many different things can happen. Some people are pregnant for many months and have a baby. That's what happened to you. Hmm. Some people have a miscarriage. A miscarriage is when a pregnancy isn't healthy enough to keep growing. Hmm. Some people have an abortion. An abortion is when someone decides to stop growing their pregnancy. Hmm. Going to a health clinic over there. There are many different ways that people who are pregnant can have an abortion. Some people see a doctor who does a special procedure to remove the pregnancy from inside a person's body. Other people take medicine to stop the pregnancy from growing bigger. Medicines like misoprostol. Abortion is very safe, and millions of people have abortions every year all around the world. No matter how someone has an abortion, everyone should be able to decide the way that is best for them. I think so too. People have abortions for different reasons. Some people have abortions because they like their family exactly as it is. Some people have abortions because they can't take care of a new baby right now. Some people have abortions because their doctors say pregnancy could make them sick. No matter the reason, everyone should be able to make this decision for themselves. That's the most important part. People have many different feelings before, during, and after their abortion. 
Some people want to talk about it and some people don't. And both of those are totally more than okay. Some people feel happy or calm. Some people feel sad or lonely. Many people feel all these things at the same time. That's a lot of feelings, isn't it? No matter how someone feels about their abortion, they deserve to be treated with love and respect. Exactly. Because we can never really know what it is like to be someone else. When it comes down to the comments of the video, they personally represent my own thoughts about this topic. Let children be children. This topic is too heavy for a child to carry. Look, I am pro-choice, but wow. Just wow. This topic does not need to be cutesy little kids book and lesson. Leave these topics for teenagers and up. This is not appropriate content for children. How is this allowed? You should be ashamed. Kids should not be anywhere near you or your inappropriate content and mindset. We do not consent. Leave our kids alone. We are winning. We will not kill our kids that you hate. This makes me sick to even try to justify teaching this to children. What the fuck is wrong with you? Seriously. So, like, I didn't talk about sex at school till I was over 10 years old, and we were only taught it in the context of science, such as biological parts. You ruined childhood and education. As I record this video, I am not a parent, but I can only imagine that for the case of parents, they put different limitations upon things that they can see or not see for their child. For example, there are applications to block certain websites on the internet. You cannot share certain content with your kids and vice versa. So parents seem to always have limitation when it comes down to specific content. The creator of the show has stated this. When I talk about queer, trans, and non-binary kids, I'm not just talking about kids who currently identify as such. I'm talking about all kids because all kids are queer. Queer as indifferent, non-normative, and pre-structural. That's why kids are vital to liberation movements. Just like how I think there is no such thing as a trans kid because they're not physically, emotionally ready to have such a transition to your body and the consequences behind that, I don't honestly think that kids, especially girls, need to know about this particular topic until they're a teenager like a comment said largely because kids for the most part are concentrating more about the toys and what they play i don't think they can actually handle such a really deep complex topic like abortion until they reach around 13 years old i remember specifically when i was younger that somebody that was related to me Basically, it was into like, you know, middle school for the Catholic middle school. And so what happened was that basically the middle school that was Catholic tried to encourage the students there to basically go to like a march for pro-life because the Catholic stance is still is like pro-life. And this whole entire video basically reminds me about this. It seems to just push a certain worldview because they want to go after your kids. For both the case of the Catholics when I was like, you know, younger with my sibling, and for the case of this video, pushing this idea, uh, teaching these ideas while they're still basically young and not old enough to think about the ideas themselves. So what do you guys think? What is the appropriate age to talk about abortion with your kids? Tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend.
I wouldn't trade him for another black heart Because black friends are rare as you should be aware He smiles like Richard Pryor so just sit and stare It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler